Guess what we're doing today? No joke, guys. We are going to attempt to make unicorn puppuccinos. So this is going to be our version of the unicorn frappuccino, but for dogs. This is going to be super fun. Hopefully they'll turn out super cute. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah? Let's make some treats! Alright you guys, so yes, today we are going to try to make unicorn puppuccinos. Um, as always, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be a link in the cards and down in the video description below that you can click on. You can see all of our other treat videos. I think we now have something like over 70 different DIY treat videos you can check out. Second thing before we get started, see that little bell down there below the video? There's a little bell. Click that bell. Make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you guys won't ever miss any of our videos. We try to do treat videos every other Monday, but we also have a bunch of other videos on this channel that you can enjoy. Adventure videos, Fan Friday videos, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you click that bell so you're notified of our new videos when they come out. And last but not least, <laughs> if you don't feel comfortable feeding some of these ingredients to your dog, you don't have to. Call your vet, ask them if it's okay. Our dogs have had all of these things before and do just fine with them. Never feed anything to your dogs that you're uncomfortable feeding them. Now let's get to the fun and make some unicorn puppuccinos. This recipe can be scaled down as you need it to be. There's not really any specific measurements that you have to use. Uh, I'm making this for three dogs if you're making it for one dog or for a dog and yourself. Yes, if you really want to eat this, you can. It might not be that great because there's not very much sugar in it, but there's some natural sugars from the fruits we're going to put in it. Um, but you can scale the recipe down. There's not really like an exact measurement that has to be used. You're basically just going to make a awesome smoothie for your dogs. Also, there will be links to most of these ingredients and the products we use down in the video description below. I'm using my Nutribullet Magic Bullet for this. I have two different cups because we are going to make two different colors so we can layer the Frappuccino. So I have two different cups to help us with that. I'm kind of going to do both of these at once. One of them is going to be blueberries. You want a blue here, you want a blueberry? Would you like a blueberry? Oakley, I have food. She's like, no, Oakley wants a nap. Would you like a blueberry? Oh my, it's a good blueberry. How about you, Shelby? Want a blueberry? You want one? And how about you? Do you want a blueberry? That's my finger. There, there you go. Oakley's not too sure what she thinks about the blueberries. Here, Shelby. You wouldn't eat it. How about with some dip? Oh, it's great with dip. Back to the dip for Shelby. <laughs> Next, we're going to add some plain Greek yogurt. Make sure when you buy yogurt that you check the ingredients and make sure it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners in it because you don't want your dogs to have artificial sweeteners. About, for the size I'm doing, this is about a half a cup. Next, we're going to add a half a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk, you can just use water. And then we're gonna add some ice cubes. That's gonna be it for the blue level. We'll mix this in a second. Now we're gonna make the red level. Same concept. We're gonna use strawberries though. Let's see, would you like a strawberry? Oh, how did I know? Would you like one? Oh, surprise, surprise. Would you like one? That one you took pretty nice. Strawberry? No? Okay. Strawberry with dip. Oh. And it's, yo it's plain yogurt. Like, how does that make it better? I think she's just a diva. So we're gonna take some cut up strawberries and put them in here. That's probably a lot. Oh well, we'll just have to drink some too. About a half a cup of yogurt. Good job, you wanna lick it? Oh, it's so delicious. So licky-licious. Oakley's like, I'm napping guys. Bring me the food when it's done. And about a half a cup of unsweetened coconut milk and some ice cubes. All right, let's hope this turns blue. That's the plan, ready, go. I would say that turned a pretty good purpley-ish, bluish color. It's pretty thick. If it's not thick enough, add a couple more ice cubes. If it's too thick, add a little bit more of the unsweetened coconut milk or water. So you kind of want it like a slushy. Let's go for the pink layer. I think that's pretty pink. What do you think? I think we got our colors. What do you guys think? <laughs> I actually found some little cups with dome lids that I'm gonna use. 
you don't have to use these. You can just use like a regular little dish if you want, but I thought these would be fun since we're trying to make them look like unicorn frappuccinos. We're gonna do this. Now, the other thing I found was this sparkle gel, which I thought would be kind of fun to write on the inside of the cups with, give it a little bit of an accent color. This really doesn't have much in it. It's mostly just sugar and corn syrup, and there's only gonna be a little bit in the cup. This is completely optional. I'm using it more for a visual than anything else. See, it's just kind of a little decoration on the inside of the cup. Apparently there's something going on. I hear lots of sirens. Pour a little bit into each one. Hopefully not make a giant mess. Or make a giant mess. We're good with both. Now we pour some of the blueberry. Hope it makes a nice layer. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna make a pretty good layer. And then a little more strawberry on the top. Oh, but we're not done yet. Check that out. Does that look like a unicorn frappuccino to you? It does to me, but we're not done yet. <laughs> Some old fashioned ready whip. Cause we gotta have unicorn sparkle dust, right? Oh, this is Shelby's favorite stuff too. Shelby, check this out. Ready? <laughs> Want some? Memphis is like, I don't know. You got it? Want some? Oh, it's so good. And we're gonna put a little bit of this on the top. And now it's time for the unicorn sparkle dust. So what I did is I found these freeze dried fruits. I found blueberry and strawberry. And because they are, here I'll open them up and show you. Because they're freeze dried, they're crunchy. Look. <laughs> they're so good too. Try that. No, I didn't think you would. Try that. Try that. <laughs> Shelby's like, no, I ain't trying that. So what I did was, I crushed them up into like a little, like a powder almost. And I figured we can take and we can go, oh, unicorn sparkle dust. Because what is a unicorn frappuccino without unicorn sparkle dust? Right? Unicorn sparkle dust. And there, we have unicorn frappuccinos for dogs. Now they get to try them. You also, I made some big ones because I wanted to make them look cool for the video. You can make these about half size for the dogs. They'll probably only eat about half of this and I'll put the other half back in the fridge, but I had to make them look cool for the video, right? That's pretty awesome. I think this may be a treat best enjoyed outside. What do you think, Shelby? Shelby loves, um, when we get milkshakes and she gets to lick through that lid. So I thought it'd be funny to let her lick through the lid first. <laughs> Don't worry, I made sure the edges weren't sharp. Is that amazing? Would you like me to take the lid off? Hold on, let me take the lid off. Much better with the lid off, right? <laughs> and I figure I'll let them enjoy about half of it, and then I'll put it in the fridge, and then they can enjoy the rest later. See, you like it when all the things are together, don't you? You're like, it's the best when it's all together. Unicorn Puppuccinos! <laughs> That's good stuff, huh? Oh my goodness, are you jumping for joy? Would you like yours? All right. <laughs> hey, sit. Oh, come on. Be good, sit. Okay, here goes Memphis's try at the Unicorn Frappuccino. Oh, is it delicious? Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> She's like, I think this is a win. This is delicious. <laughs> you could actually take these, mix them together like this, and put them in ice cube trays and freeze them and have a uh, new frozen dog treat as well. How about you, honey? Are you ready to try it? All right, come over here. Ready? Let's see what Miss Oakley thinks. <laughs> Is that amazing? I knew that you would be the one to make the mess down the side of the cup. But that's okay. We can clean it up. Is that good stuff? It's kind of like a late birthday treat for you since we didn't have time to make a birthday treat for you since we're remodeling our bathroom. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to see the remodeling of the bathroom process, 
check out our vlog channel, youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. That's what we're currently doing over there. That's amazing stuff. All right, you guys, that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed this awesome treat video. Again, as I said before, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below to more of our treat videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, pass it around to help us continue to grow the audience. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We'll see you again soon. And as always, leave a comment down below. What do you want to see us try to make next? Thanks for watching, you guys. Goodbye.